24 23 at the half here from the Pennington School. Good to be with you as always, everybody. The Mercer County Tournament here on WBCP alongside the Mercer County Hall of Famer Rich Fisher, Mike Warren here with you, Colin Sommer producing tonight's stream, Gavin M's doing tonight's camera work, and a great effort from the team here this evening as the North Stars find themselves on top by one through one half of play. And the first half stats and numbers brought to you by the Trentonian as we turn things over to Rich Fisher. Hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> so we will start with the scoring for Nottingham. Jordan Rabo with 12 points leading the way. Dom Raymond with six. Rashawn Washington has four. Dante Alexander with two. North Star shooting eight for 20 from the field. Five for six from the foul line. For Pennington, we, we saw only four guys score for Nottingham. Only three have scored for Pennington. Dwayne Se uh, DJ Sneed uh, with 12 points on four three-pointers in the second quarter. Kai Killick with eight. And Jordan Awusu with three. The Red Hawks shooting eight for 20 from the field, one for two from the line. Red Hawks have been bailed out by six three-pointers. Four from Sneed and two from Killick. Uh, Nottingham still leading in rebounding, 13 to 10. Stars have committed just four turnovers, and Pennington has turned it over six times. They cut it from four to two in the second quarter. Really, Mike has been a tale of two quarters. Nottingham up 14-8, and they did they did bust up get up to double figures to 18-8 and 21-11. But Pennington finished strong. They had a 12. Uh, 12-3 run, I'm sorry, yeah, 12-3 run to end the half and pulled it within one. They tied it, and then Dom Raymond hit a free throw to end it. Uh, Nottingham doing a great job on Steen Evans. Uh, he, he only has three shots. Uh, Raymond came out big with five, but kind of, you know, they kind of took him out of it a little bit in that second quarter. But Jordan Raba has been the man to pick up the slack. Raba with 12, tied with the leading scorer for Pennington, and DJ Sneed with 12, all of Sneed's 12 coming from the land of great beyond. The Hamilton Township School District wants you to know that the District Community Relations Committee is meeting from 5 to 6 p.m. on March 19th at Wilson Elementary School. The link to register and more information can be found at hdsdnj.org. Virtual kindergarten registration for 2024 and the Hamilton Township School District summer camp registration available online as well visit eight visit htsdnj.org for more information i'll tell you jordan rob has really come to life in these last three games he he provided the spark in the game against hopewell to win the division he had 20 the other night he lighting it up again tonight inside and out evans looking for killick Rabo on killick he'll drive Rabo swaps it away evans the finish on the turnaround hook well they're gonna have to get something from evans this half and they just and they did starting out Raba trying to find Raymond it was stolen Washington Alexander lines up a three and it won't fall He's getting ready to say he hit look good out of the hand Pennington by one looking to extend the lead triple on the way from Johnson no rebound Raymond first lead of the night for Pennington up by one, Killick on Washington. Raba down low to Raymond, what a feed. Beautiful pass from Jordan Raba to Dom Raymond. Give Raymond eight. And again, these guys that can score can also pass. And that's all, you know, that's a tribute to the system that, that Chris Raba runs. Travel called on Evans. Thought he was fouled, but Raymond got him to shuffle his feet. Yeah, Dom Raymond, as soon as the whistle blew, Dom Raymond stepped back and made the traveling motion. Talk about knowing the game, knowing the rules, and knowing the limits down in the post as a defender. Raymond undersized in the matchup against Evans and sort of pulled the chair out from under him, had him ole a little bit. Possession back with the ham. By one, Alexander. The ham against the ton. <laughs> Giuliano to Washington. Freshly into the second half, Matt Giuliano. Alexander. Perimeter centric offense for the Ham. North Stars. Reset. Washington calls out the new half court set. Alexander wasn't ready for it, but able to haul it in. Johnson on Alexander. 
Washington near the midcourt logo. He'll pull it even further towards the timeline. Nearing the six minute mark. Giuliano, curl, Raba, corner three, short. Rebound by Evans, Pennington has it. Killick slows things down. Kaye Killick, eight first quarter points. Silent since then. Nottingham by one in this seesaw affair. Everybody's taking turns picking each other up tonight. Napoleon on the floater, it won't roll. Alexander with the board, now Washington has it for the North Stars. Each team trying to control the pace of this one. Yep. You mentioned Pennington plays with the shot clock during their regular season. None here tonight and the North Stars trying to take advantage of that change of pace and change of play. Right. Raba. Right wing extended. Sneed on Washington. Raymond lines up a three. Too strong. Rebound by Johnson. And a foul called against the North Stars. I believe it's against Washington. It is. Rashawn Washington with a foul about 90 feet away from the basket. Yeah, you never like to do that. That's only his first. Substitutions. For the Pennington School is Matt Miller or Mike Miller, excuse me, back into the game. Johnson working it around. Killick lines up a three. Can't get it. Miller fighting for it. Baseline forces it in. Stolen. Pass couldn't be handled, and Raymond came up with it. Here's Washington. Raymond posts up Miller. He's fouled and he'll shoot two. Surprised Miller came in for Evans so quick. Evans was doing a few things here. He got his first points, grabbed a couple rebounds. Looks like Evans is getting a splint. Put oh, his, okay. His finger over there, getting his finger taped up a bit. That's Raymond at the line shooting two. Car buying made simple at Hyundai of Trenton. 1655 North Olden Avenue in Ewing Township. Over 100 new Hyundai models from Elantras and Sonatas to SUVs like the Hyundai Santa Fe, Tucson, and Palisade, including hybrid models. Hyundai of Trenton has the inventory, including a huge selection of pre-owned certified vehicles. 1655 North Olden Avenue. Hyundai of Trenton has the cars in stock. That's three fouls on Snead. That's, that's not good for Pennington. He's been a big part of the offense. Raymond able to sink a pair. Sneed! <laughs> there he is three. again. <laughs> wow. 15 for DJ Sneed. He's only taken five shots tonight. All threes, all have gone down. I don't think he's hit the rim once. Knotted up yet again. Raba, top of the key, looking for Raymond. Fade away. Oh. Won't fall. Giuliano, Giuliano. stripped. Miller, sideline, looked like he stepped out. North Stars wanted the call, they don't get it. And a foul called against Washington in the backcourt again. Killick draws the foul, side inbound. For Pennington. Second foul against Washington. 28-28 the score, under four minutes to go, third quarter. Dylan Napoleon. Sneed, another try, another hit! Mike, this is unbelievable. DJ Sneed! It's his time! I've seen kids get hot before. This, this is crazy. Six for six, all from three. I mean, this kid's out of his mind right now. The scoring coming in bunches for Sneed. The lefty hot hand from deep, he can't be stopped. 31-28 the score, full timeout taken by Chris Raba and the North Stars. Today's game on WBCB brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association, who would like to take this opportunity to wish all of their students the best of luck this school term. They are proud to support you. This message brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association. Mercer County's teachers and public school employees are proud members of the Mercer County Education Association, and they work to better the lives of their students and families. They value the partnerships with the community organizations and other labor unions and elected officials. When they collaborate with students and families, their public schools are the best in the state and the nation. This message sponsored by the Mercer County Education Association. DJ Sneed, a six-foot junior guard out of Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. 
And he, I'll tell you what, he's shooting from Ben Salem tonight, and they're, go, they're going down. From the other side of the Delaware, letting them fly. <laughs> that's, that's the three-point line, the Delaware. 31-28, <laughs> Red Hawks on top. Their largest lead of the night. Under four to go, third quarter. Washington, it's a 1-3-1 one, one half-court set from Pennington. A changeup and their defensive strategy. Giuliano in the corner. Washington penetrates, kicks corner. Raba thought about a triple. Whole drive, puts it up, blocked by Miller. Raymond second chance. Won't drop. Rebound by Evans. Raba comes up, grabbing the back of his head. Whistles remain silent. Here's Kaye Killick. Well, there's some banging going on. They're letting him play a little bit. Sneed, another first miss. <laughs> he had to miss sooner or later, right? <laughs> Off back iron. Raba wants a triple of his own. He hits it. <laughs> 15 for Raba. He's Sneed got and Raba <laughs> trading blows. 31's on the scoreboard. Killick. The response. <laughs> Raining three-pointers. Corner, Raba, short. Evans aboard. Pennington has it. Sneed checks the clock, 2.20 and counting. Miller waiting to check in for Nottingham. Killick with Raba on him. He'll put it on the hardwood, inside. Blocked Ooh. by Giuliano. Killick looking up like, whoa. <laughs> Bodies hit the floor hard. Whistles are silent. Raymond, corner, Raba. Skip pass. Alexander's three won't fall. Evans with another rebound. And Evans has been so much more active on the boards this half. Napoleon trying to go coast to coast too strong. Here comes Alexander into the front court. Euro stepping in to the hardwood. Silent whistles. Napoleon behind the back, right hand drops it in. Timeout on the floor. Alexander a little bit banged up, an injury timeout. It's a five point Pennington lead. Oh boy, we saw Alexander, he cramped, he was had cramping issues all game against TCPA and this kind of looks like it's the same thing again. Dylan Napoleon. I is, mean, I don't know. Don't, I'm, not, I'm not giving you any medical advice. I'm just telling you what it looks like. He's limping off now. Napoleon, the 6'5 combo guard as a sophomore. His first points of the night on a pretty move going coast to coast. And on the other side of the floor, Alexander need, needing to be tended to by the North Star medical staff. Giuliano it stays into the game. Jameer Miller back into the contest as well. Tell you what, bud, this is living up to the hype. Final 90 seconds here in the third quarter. A trip to the Mercer County Tournament Finals on the line. Raymond forcing his way in, scoops it up and in. Six in the quarter for Raymond. He's got 12 on the night. Well, when things are going bad, sometimes they look to your leader. Well, they usually all the time they look to the leader. <laughs> High post More times than Evans. not, he answers the call. Killick skip pass Sneed. Well beyond the arc. That's his range. He'll drive. Left side. Blocked by Raba. Washington. Other side. Numbers for the North Stars. Raymond to Washington. Skip pass Raba. Getting back in the play now. Finally is Sneed. Washington will reset. 35 seconds and ticking here in the third. Down by three are the North Stars. Raymond in the right corner. Washington. Working it to the opposite side of the floor. North Stars playing for the last shot here in the third quarter. Rashawn Washington controlling the pace. He'll force it right side. Nice kick. Miller, turnaround, right hook, too strong. Miller with the board. Last second shot, too late for the buzzer, and that's going to do it for the third quarter. A three-point advantage for Pennington. 
36-33 the score. A trip to the Mercer County Tournament Finals on the other side of this timeout. One quarter to play, eight minutes on the clock, and Pennington, can they cling on to a three-point lead and earn their first trip to the finals for the first time in 14 years? We'll find out right after this here on WBCB. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation, and that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. One quarter remains here from the Pennington School and the Red Hawks find themselves on top by three. The Hamilton Township Division of Health offers a variety of free services to keep you and your community healthy. It is important for everyone to stay up to date on rec recommended vaccines and flu shots. For more information, you can visit HamiltonNJ.com slash health. HamiltonNJ.com slash health. Stay healthy, Hamilton, and don't forget, you miss any of today's action, you can read all about it in tomorrow's edition of the Trentonian. For your complete local and national news seven days a week, it's the Trentonian or online at Trentonian.com. The only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County seven days a week, it's the Trentonian. Underway, quarter number four in the Mercer County Tournament Semis. Giuliano is fouled? I don't know. I think they, they called timeout. They called timeout. Timeout taken by the Baron just in the nick of time. 7.45 to go here in the fourth. North Stars keeping possession of the rock down by three. I'll tell you one thing not, uh, Pennington's not getting, and that's home cooking. Nottingham seven for eight from the foul line. Red Hawks have only gone to the line twice. They're one for two. <clears throat> the Italian People's Bakery proud to support high school sports on the WBCB Sports Network. Make sure you visit them at their signature location, 63 Butler Street, for the finest rolls, deli meats, and pastries. 63 Butler Street in Chambersburg, the Italian People's Bakery since 1936. Jordan Robin inbound for the Stars right in front of their own bench. If you're just joining us, folks, don't go anywhere. Get the feeling this is going to be a frenzied finish. Miller collecting, finding Raymond, right elbow extended. Raba lines up a triple. Too much. Alusu with a board. And a foul is called. No, is he out of bounds? I, uh, I'm not sure. I, tough to tell. Uh, they're... they're uh, I don't know, they didn't put a foul up. No, no foul. It's a turnover. Yeah. Well, Alusu a, stepped out of bounds. That's a careless turnover. Nottingham to inbound under their own basket. Raymond on Miller. Gets the contact. It's a jump ball. Is it or not? Some of these hand signals are not lining no, up to the I, look. He's calling, that on, <laughs> he's calling that on Miller. So it is a foul call. Yeah, typically when you point up to the sky. Uh, he was pointing. He was Saying he's wagging, shooting, I guess. He was wagging one one finger for each one. He was showing, saying it was number 11. Raymond gets the roll on the first. Can't get the second. Killick hauls in the scrappy rebound. Skip pass up ahead. Here's a Wusu. Corner. Evans. Skip pass in, stolen. Raba comes up with Good it. Good anticipation by Raba. He saw that all the way. Got in the passing lane. Washington. Saved the layup. Raba, two-man action with Raymond. Getting inside, hit on the arm, whistle silent. Ball's on the floor, Giuliano. Gonna get, we'll see what they call. They call it against Matt Giuliano. Bodies hit the floor. Giuliano went for the ball, but got too much of the body of Destin Evans. Chris Robb has gone with a really short bench tonight. He has not put in Faithlin, not put in Mike Charles. You usually see those guys. He usually goes about eight deep. Only Evans. six tonight. Killick, a healthy three. Won't fall. Evans' second chance oh, as it's stripped. Good job by Miller. Sneed comes up with it. Has it back. Awusu trapped in the corner. 
Driving baseline. Kicks it out. Killick. Stolen by the North Stars. Run out for Miller. He'll slam it home. Miller's first points, an emphatic slam. 36 is on the scoreboard. All tied up yet again. Yep, and uh, <laughs> that, not, Pennington's getting a little sloppy in this quarter. That's her third turnover. They did a pretty good job of cutting back on them in the middle two quarters, but they had a couple of costly giveaways in this quarter, and Nottingham has taken advantage of it. Up and down we go. Here in the Mercer County Tournament semifinals. Mercer yep. County teachers and public school employees, proud members of the Mercer County Education Association, work to better the lives of their students and families. They value the community organizations and relationships with other labor unions and elected officials. When they collaborate with students and families, their public schools are simply the best in the state and the nation. This message sponsored by the Mercer County Education Association. And of course, you won't want to miss any of this one, but if you did, we got a full write-up recap for you coming up brought to you by the Trentonian. If you miss any of today's action, the Trentonian's got you covered seven days a week. Local or national news, you can get them online at thetrentonian.com. All knotted up, 36 apiece, Rich Fisher. Can't ask for anything more, Mike. I mean, each team took a look, have gone on some runs. Nottingham had a 10, 10 point lead, the biggest of the game for either side. Pennington came back for a five point lead. Now it's all tied up and uh, we got 624 to decide, an MC, to decide an MCT finalist. Maybe longer than that, who knows? Nottingham comes out in a full court man to man look. They recede into the backcourt. Motion offense here for Pennington. Balls on the floor, Raba comes up with it and he is fouled. Is he fouled? No, or is they're Raba calling fouled? the foul they... on Raba. Wow. Your thoughts, Rich Fisher? Um, I couldn't tell. I mean, their backs were to me. I, I it could have gone either way there. I think. I don't know. I, I just didn't see it clear enough. I mean, to say it was right or wrong, I didn't see sure. it clear enough. Napoleon spinning. Oh. Blocked by Giuliano. Washington to Raba. Blocked on the other end! Owusu denies him! Travel the call! Student section's going crazy yep, here! Everybody's going crazy. <laughs> what was once a three-point parade has turned into a block party. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Washington to inbound under, under their own hoop. And before we can get action resumed, officials needing to speak with a Pennington official and looks like head coach Chandler Frazier Paul is a little bit upset with how the student sections have been conducting themselves. Oh. As he has had a deadpan look over at the North Star student section this entire time. He hasn't broken the stair. It's, He's pointing right at the student section, and it's clear he's got a problem with something they did. The All refs right. are going to meet, and this is nuts. This could affect something on the floor. If they call a technical against the Nottingham student section, that is... Oh, I don't think they'd call anything. There would be a warning or something before they made any call. And the refs went over to discuss something with Chris Raba very briefly, but based on his body language, doesn't seem to be weighing him down all that much. <laughs> No. Raymond trying to get free inside. <laughs> Held up. Ball poked out. Last touched by the Red Hawks. Raymond going over to the sideline ref and pleading his case that he's got his jersey pulled. And the jersey fully untucked now for Dom Raymond. It started fully tucked in yep. at jump ball. Well, Dom's not out to be a fashion plate. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond posting up Evans down low. Raba inside. Back out to Raymond. Now Washington will reset. Curl play, Raba to Miller. Got away with a double dribble. And a rebound by Pennington. But a foul is called. Against Napoleon. And it's going to stay with the North Stars still. Seems like they've been down there for about the last 10 minutes. 
they stay down there any longer, they might miss spring break. <laughs> Raba, baseline spin, he walked. Got the basket to fall, but Raba. <laughs> All that for one, that. One too many <laughs> steps. <laughs> yeah. hey, look, we'll, we'll get to see the game down here for a little bit. <laughs> Five minutes, 20 seconds and change. Tell you what, this is a little gym and this is the intensity. This is a pressure cooker, plain and simple. And a foul called against the North Stars. Rashawn Washington unhappy with the whistle, but Ooh, that's three quick ones on Rashawn. A little too handsy was Washington. Killick inbounds, gets it in. Here's Sneed. Sneed's been a little quiet since the beginning of that third quarter. Here he is inside. Uh, he, he walked. walked. Yep. Another turnover for Pennington. Turnovers have, starting them out for both of these teams. They have four shots. No, I'm sorry, four turnovers and three shots wow. in a scoreless third, fourth quarter for themselves. Through three minutes of play here from the Pennington School. A trip to the finals in the Mercer County Tournament on the line. All knotted up. What more could you ask for? Nothing. Here's Jameer Miller. I don't know, maybe a track. Coke or something. <laughs> Raymond, right corner. Needing help, finds Washington. Giuliano, some valuable minutes in this one. Ah, uh, yeah, always. Tell you what, that kid's a heck of a sixth or seventh man, whatever you want to call him. Raymond, working it around the perimeter. Nottingham just taking their time, deliberate in their offensive approach. Restoring a little order to this game. Raymond sizing <laughs> up inside, can't get the roll. Frustrated is Raymond. Other end, Napoleon, Eurostep, oh. stripped. Raba has it. Here's Washington. Find some space in the half court. Boy, oh boy, Pennington just cannot get any offense on track to, on track right now. Washington, corner, Raba, Raymond. Bad. Oh. Has it stripped, it's gonna stay with the North Stars. Best look the North Stars have had in quite some time, and the handsy defense. Yeah, Wosu, well, look, you know, who just did right there. Miller posting up. Pennington wanted three seconds on Raymond. He gets it back. He's fouled inside. A push. Raymond camped at the stripe. He thinks it's a shooting foul. Oh, shocking. And it, <laughs> it will not be. Foul's called on the floor. Raymond to inbound for Nottingham. That's only the first on Evans. 36-36 the score. Been quite some time since we've seen the ball fall through the net. Raymond posting up, muscling in, blocked by Evans. Well, you know, 6-6 six, six against 6-3 six, or 4, whatever you want to call Dom Raymond. That's a couple inches of height, and he's got that long wingspan. Tough to go, tough to go against. Raymond looking for space inside, and Washington, nothing there. He'll call a timeout. Both teams have really <laughs> toughened up defensively in this quarter. Well, actually, the whole game. There's only 36 points for each team. It's been a big defensive game, uh, you know. Pennington was able to get some three-point guys free. They got eight three-pointers in this game, and that's that's what's done it for them. 36-36 the score with 3-36 remaining in regulation. Pennington looking for their first trip to the Mercer County Tournament Finals in 14 years. The North Stars removed just about two years. Yep. And looking for a trip back as well. Fish, what do the North Stars or even the Red Hawks need to do to get a bucket here and, and regain the lead? Well, I mean, Nottingham, they just, Nottingham has to do what they do. They have to run that offense. You know, don't, don't rush. Don't try to panic. Look for the open man. I, I, I it, it surprises me. And, and, you know, I haven't seen Pennington all year, so I don't, I'm not really sure how they play. I, I thought they would go inside to Destine Evans a little bit more, but relied a lot on the perimeter game tonight. Giuliano gets the inbound speed, looking for Washington. Gets space, gets inside, he's tripped and fouled. 
A lot of fouls on the floor. Fourth team foul against Pennington. One away from shooting two are the North Stars for the final three minutes and change. And that is four on Jordan Owusu. Should be the fourth team foul. They've assigned it to the North Stars for the time being. Yeah, they're having a little... Robbins three! The response Nottingham needed. They lead by a triple. 18 for Raba, following a 20-point performance in the opening round. Awusu, step back, not there. Evans, Sneed, he'll drive. Puts it up, blocked by Raymond, but a foul is called. A little too much of the hand of Sneed did Raymond get on that drive. He'll shoot two. And that is the first foul on Dom Raymond. So that's good news for Nottingham. Sneed sees one go through. And that might just be all he needs to get his scoring track back. Well, he's, he hasn't been getting any shots. He got that last shot that he missed. And they've done a good job of not giving him shots now. 20 points for Sneed, his first points coming not from the three-point line. Yep. It's a one-point Pennington lead. 20 points with no two-point baskets. <laughs> Excuse me, a one-point Nottingham lead. Raba was open on the cut, got space from Killick. They didn't get it to him. Washington with Napoleon on him. Two minutes and 35 seconds in regulation. A one-point lead for the North Stars. Raba. Again, they'll take their time. They'll look for the open shot. Giuliano needs help. Spins uh. out of a trap. Puts it up. Blocked oh. by Evans. Killick. Napoleon drives, kicks, Sneed, a three. No. Rebound. Evans, but a foul is called. And it's going back with Nottingham. Napoleon pulled Raymond to the hardwood. And the whistles come out. And Chandler Frazier Pauls is really upset. <laughs> he was halfway down past the scoreboard on the stage. And there he goes again. He is, he is not happy. Nearing the two minute mark in regulation. North Stars by one with the Rock. Washington just across the timeline looking for Raba. Miller all alone. Pass goes off the leg of a Red Hawk defender. Baseline inbounds for the North Stars. Stop me if you heard that one before here tonight. <laughs> Pennington with just two points in this quarter. Raba. Two-man action with Miller stolen. Red Hawks have it. Sneed. Pass. Uh. Was touched from behind by Miller. That's a great call yeah. by the behind official on that play. Miller did get a hand on it, and it definitely affected the pass from Sneed into the corner to Evans. Yeah, I think if that wasn't called, Fraser Pauls might have run out of the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Red Hawks down by one. Timeout taken. Well, Pennington going to talk some things over and draw up a play. 143 to go. They trail by one. Nottingham clinging on to that one point lead. Under two minutes to go and a trip to the Mercer County Tournament Finals on the line, Rich Fisher. Well, I mean, both of these teams are battling it out. I mean, Pennington, it's just. They, 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 Nottingham has played really strong defense in this quarter, but Pennington's hurting itself a little bit too with some careless turnovers. And man, at this point, at this stage of the game, you can't be careless. You can't make sloppy turnovers. And uh, again, Nottingham's defense has a, a little to do with that, a lot to do with it. But there have been times where Pennington's just been a little, uh, I, I, I don't know the word, careless or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Nottingham hasn't lit the lit, lit the. Lit it up in this quarter. They've got six points. So uh, I don't want to say the pressure's getting to anybody. I just think it's so intense 
that it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to play within yourself sometimes. You sure, know, you, sure. you're just the adrenaline is just so fired up, and you know what's on you know what's on the line. You know what's at stake, and uh, even ugh. with all the experience that the North Stars have, that pressure is still very capable oh, of creeping in. Oh yeah. Killick gets the inbounds pass into the backcourt. Final minute, 35. Awusu. Killick over to Evans. Evans carried. North Stars ball. Again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a palming call. I mean, that's just. You can't have that. I mean, obviously. For the first time in the second, or in the fourth quarter at least, Dante Alexander checks in for Nottingham and more of a guard heavy presence now. And once again, Rava going with an iron six. Alexander. Although Chandler Frazier Pauls has only played seven, so. <laughs> You're Raymond. seeing some tired bodies out there. Raymond fouled by Evans. And that'll put Dom on the line. Tom Raymond at the stripe. Shooting two. Raymond. Well, that's the guy you want. Four for five on the night. Gets the first. Nottingham by two. Giuliano back in. Alexander back out. 115. The clock halted. Two for two is Raymond. Three point advantage for the North Stars. Nearing the final minute. Killix three for the tie, yes! <laughs> 41s! One minute to go. Hold on to your seat, Rich Fisher. Uh. We're coming in for a landing. <laughs> If I hold on to my seat, you're going to have to write down my stats. You got it. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Raba to Raymond in the corner. Giuliano trying to get free. How nice was that woman bending down in front of us to walk by? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Last shot opportunity for Nottingham. Trying to take care of the rock. Awusu on Washington. Giuliano to Raymond. Keeping it around the perimeter are the North Stars. Raba gets it back to Washington, 15 seconds. Timeout taken. The Baron, Chris Raba, <laughs> gets out the whiteboard and the magic marker. Time to draw up a final shot. 13.1 to go in regulation, a full timeout for the North Stars. 41-41 on the scoreboard. This back and forth seesaw affair from the Pennington School with a trip to the Mercer County Tournament Finals on the line. Yeah, and I think, you know, if you're if you're Pennington, <laughs> you got to guard Raba, you got to guard Raymond, you got to make sure Raymond, and with Raymond, you can't just worry about him underneath. I mean, he can make that little baseline jumper, uh, you know, and Raba, as we've said before, if you get him open at the, on the perimeter, he can shoot it. If I had to guess, I would guess they might try to get it out to Raba on the perimeter and then see if he could take it take it to the rack, which he's shown he can do, uh, you know, or uh, I, I don't know. That's that's just a pure guess, but we'll see. Chris Robin knows so much more about basketball than I do. That So <laughs> if he does what I just said, then I'll consider myself a genius. <laughs> well, if it, if it makes you feel any better, I already consider you a genius. <laughs> well, then I consider you a genius for feeling that way. That's awesome. <laughs> a couple of geniuses here in the booth. Yeah. 13.1 <laughs> to go. Pass nearly stolen. Numbers for the North Stars. Alexander, skip pass. Raba turned it over. 6.1 to go. 6.5, excuse me. And a last shot now for Pennington. Oh, man. <laughs> Washington was able to haul in the pass just before Killick could get a hand on it. No Final timeout. Shot. Here's Sneed. 
Brings oh. it across the timeline right. and a timeout taken by Chandler Frazier Pauls. In his fifth year, the Pennington alum, a chance to earn a trip with one great play to the Mercer County Tournament Finals for the first time in 14 years. Mike, I could not see, I'm completely blinded by that far corner. What exactly happened down there? Alexander, when he drove baseline, went for a skip pass. I believe it was initially intended for Raymond on the left block. It went through both him and Miller. Robba was going to haul it in, and as he did so, made contact with the basketball when it touched the baseline. Okay, so basically, a kind of a pass went out of bounds yep yeah that's okay. the uh, the short version of that story yeah. absolutely <laughs> <laughs> we gotta try to be concise on these stories <laughs> without a doubt i was just trying to eat up some of that that time no, i know i get you i get you <laughs> you know sometimes i'm not the most articulate individual no no it's all fine you're a genius you, you, you know you got <laughs> 41 41 the score now if you're pennington you try to free up one of you got two guys that can bomb from the outside. You try to free them up. Do you look for your big guy inside who only has two points all game? I would think maybe try to go into him and, and see if he can get fouled and go to the line. Sneed will inbound. Well, Killick for the win. No. no. That we'll wasn't. need one more quarter at least. Free basketball coming up next on WBCB. We're headed to overtime. Four quarters, not enough in the Mercer County Tournament semifinals. Yeah, Nottingham did a good job on defending Killick there. That shot had no prayer. He's kind of forced and rushed and everything else and uh, didn't hit anything. So uh, I guess Nottingham was looking for Killick to get the ball, and it all worked out for the North Stars. So... <laughs> <laughs> With all that being said, we'll take a quick break here on WBCB. Overtime basketball on the other side of this timeout. Pennington fighting for their first trip to the finals in 14 years. The North Stars looking to make it back for the first time in two. Hi, Merrill Reese for Capital Health, reminding you that the former St. Francis Medical Center is now Capital Health East, and they still offer a 24-7 emergency department as well as outpatient medical clinic services. To enter the emergency department and outpatient clinic, please use the Burt Avenue entrance. Capital Health, proud to be a partner for better health in our state's capital, Trenton, New Jersey. On them. 41 41. Jump ball at center court, just like we did before this one was underway. Well, Pennington's just got to feel a little fortunate. Only giving up five points in, and only gained, only scoring five points in the fourth quarter and still being able to come out in overtime. Miller and Evans jump ball. Mm -hmm. It's loose. Giuliano has it tied up. Our, Three jump ball with no possession uh, established. Okay. So they will re-jump at center court. The arrow is going Nottingham's way in case we have another jump ball. <laughs> Miller pokes it out, hauled in by Giuliano. The North Stars will start with it. This is Washington. Miller, right wing extended. Raba to Washington. Here's Raymond. Everybody calm down a little during that break. <laughs> Re-energize. Re Raymond. Evans extends out onto him. Washington pulls it out. They'll reset yet again. Napoleon on Raba. Skip pass. Miller. Washington, a screen from Giuliano, gets the switch. This is Killick on him. Miller. Sneed on Miller. Loses his dribble quickly. Now Raba. Hey, Nottingham. <laughs> Holding the ball for over a minute so far. Pennington fans booing. Used to the shot clock are the Pennington faithful. Yeah. Raba off a curl screen. Raymond, he'll post up Evans. 
Spins in. And he walked. All right. They've been, a lot of times when there's contact, they've been giving Dom the calls. You're starting to see some very heavy breathing from both of these teams as it's yeah. been a very thin bench yeah. on either side. DJ Sneed, 20 points on the night. 18 of them coming from the three-point line. Sneed, Killick, weaving. Here's Owusu. Raba on Owusu, the matchup all night long between these two. Napoleon will drive, kick out. Evans puts it on the floor, spins inside, has it stripped. Draws Evans, or Evans is gonna get called for a foul. This, we'll see how they rule it. I don't know if that's the, a personal foul, if it's a flagrant, if it's a technical. Uh, the fouls don't reset as you go to overtime, so Raymond will shoot two regardless. Right. But Evans missed the post-up move inside, and as he followed through with the offhand, caught all of Dom Raymond's face. Raymond hit the hardwood and popped back up pretty quickly. He'll shoot two. 16 points for Dom Raymond. A hard-earned 16 points. He's had the work for all of them. Second shot. Rolls in for Raymond. Two-point lead for Nottingham. Sneed. Washington on him. Killick trying to get free. Miller fouls him. Killick uh -huh. got him with a hesitation. Got his legs under him like he was about to pull up from deep. And Miller left his feet. Got called for the blocking foul. And that is, uh, that's it for Miller. Five fouls. That's a big loss. Yeah, it is. For Nottingham. Jameer Miller, two points with the emphatic throwdown. That came in the late periods of this game. Wait, Killick, no. No, they, 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 they corrected it. It's the fourth team it. foul It's four against fouls, Miller. yeah. Miller's not out. Sorry. Killick sinks the first. 15 on the evening for Kaye Killick, the junior guard. Two for two. All tied up yet again. Washington taking his time, walks it across the midcourt logo. 95 seconds remain in the overtime period. The first overtime period potentially. But Washington. Killick, Killick on Raba. He gives up a lot of height to Raba. Washington. Let's see if Donahue can capitalize. You know, they, well, although Killick is scrappy. <laughs> Washington, two man set with Raymond, gets his dribble back. 65 seconds. Timeout called by the North Stars. 60 seconds exactly on the clock. All tied up at 43 apiece. A similar scenario, separated by no more than four minutes of gameplay. <laughs> yeah. Back and forth we go. As Fish exchanging some <laughs> casualties with. <laughs> Is that what you call that? <laughs> formalities? I can't call that formality. No, you can't. <laughs> casual conversation, not casualties. Casual conversation is yeah. what we'll call that. I was just acknowledging Tommy Carr out there. He's <laughs> doing a fine job tonight. <laughs> it's been a great game here from the Pennington School. Yes, it has. And we've said it time and time again. Not much more you can ask for in any game, but nonetheless, the Mercer County Tournament semifinals. Yeah. A I championship mean, level performance from both of these teams, and only one is going to advance. These are these are the games you hope for when you get to this level. And uh, man, we are we are getting it. 86 total points between the two teams, tied up yet again for at least the fifth time here tonight. And how about 
I talked before the game about Pennington averaging, what, 60-some points a game. Only 43. Just goes That's to show you. That's a heck of a defensive effort. Yeah. Defense and the North Stars go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Here's Jordan Raba. Raymond. He'll pull it out. 45 seconds and counting. And Here's Alexander back into the game for Giuliano. It looks like they're going to wind it down. Like they did in the fourth. Pennington Bench wants a five-second yeah. call on Washington. <laughs> yeah. They were, they were all, the whole bench was up. Timeout taken yet again. Similar strategy to the fourth quarter for Chris Raba and the North Stars as we see him take another timeout. Yeah, I see Kyle Franco's back. He must have, hope ball must be over, and he came back to this game. Going to get some reaction shots for whoever yeah. wins, I guess. There you go. A good back and forth here this afternoon. If you're just joining us, my name is Mike Warren alongside the Mercer County Hall of Famer, Rich Fisher. Colin Sommer producing tonight's stream. Gavin M's doing our camera work here tonight. Fish, what a game so far. Still yet to be concluded, but this has been all you can ask for as our coverage of the tournament ends here tonight. Unable to cover the game, the two championship matchups at West Windsor Plainsboro North. And we apologize, we won't have the coverage there, but West Windsor Plainsboro North will be utilizing their huddle camera to provide a video stream for both championship games. You can stream the game on their huddle camera. You will not have our commentary, unfortunately. Our melodic voices. <laughs> Washington gets the inbounds pass. 23 seconds and counting. Chance for the final shot for the North Stars. Washington to Raymond. Killick on Washington. Napoleon switches on to Raba. Screen from Raymond. Raba inside, stripped. Balls on the floor. It is a still Nottingham's jump ball. ball. I think the arrow, the arrow is pointing Nottingham's way. Wait, no. What they call? They called a, a kick, kick ball against Raba, who had it tied up between his two feet. Well. 1.6 on the clock. They'll have to, uh, yeah. I'm guessing, put a couple seconds back on. I don't know. Uh, we have a final here. The other semifinal. Hopewell 53, Robbinsville 36. Whoop. Wait. Oh, that game's still going on. Uh, 24 seconds to go. Hopewell up 54 36. So. Okay, well, Hopewell won. We're not sure of the final score, but it was double figures. So the top-seeded Bulldogs will move into the finals for the only time in school history, since, except for 2005, they wow. made it back in the semifinals, or the finals. So Hopewell making its second trip, 54-36 was the final. Wow. They'll be making their second trip overall, first in... 18 years, and uh, I know the team in black and red here would love to make it an all Pennington affair between the two, all wouldn't Delaware that, Avenue affair. Yeah, wouldn't that be something? Yeah. Now, we've up. seen that in some other sports. I, I think that happened in soccer here and there. Clock remains with 1.6. Jordan Raba yelling out no fouls to the North Star. Yeah, I'm not sure what you can do with that little time left on the clock. Sneed to inbound. Baseball pass ahead. Killick for the win. Oh. No. Oh. Well, Off that would have been something. the side of the backboard. Just wide of the rim. More free basketball. A second overtime period is needed for the second team to be named for a trip to the Mercer County Tournament Finals. The winner will meet Hopewell Valley at West Windsor Plainsboro North on Saturday afternoon at 5 o'clock. One more overtime period ahead here on WBCB. It's the North Stars and the Red Hawks. Don't go anywhere. My goodness. <laughs>
Falcon Heating and Cooling is proud to serve Hamilton Township and the surrounding communities. Their only priority is your comfort. Visit their showroom at 2615 Hamilton Avenue and see their water heaters, boilers, furnaces, and air conditioning units all on display. See what you're getting before delivery, and all brand names are there like Carrier, Lennox, Train, and more. Falcon Heating and Cooling does their own installation. No subcontractors, enabling better pricing and financing at low rates with up to seven years. Falcon Heating and Cooling, 2615 Hamilton Avenue. Call 609-638-4798. That's 609-638-4798. All right. Action underway, second overtime period. I'd like to welcome the Hopewell Valley basketball team, who we hear is huddled around the phone watching. Trying to see the opponent they'll face in the championship round. Yeah, doing a little scouting. Evans lines up a three, won't fall. Rebound by Raba. Washington. We have not seen a lot of scoring. <laughs> 10 points for Nottingham and seven for Hopewell, or for Pennington in the overtime and fourth quarters combined. Washington gets space, almost walked. Raymond trying to post up Evans. Here's a double team. Raymond gets free. Washington gets it back and whole reset. Raba, floater, no. Rebound, stripped. North Stars have it back. Miller almost loses it. Washington is fouled. Bodies hit the floor. Sneed will be called for the foul, and Washington will head to the line. Hey, that's kind of the way it's been going for Pennington in this second. They are they're getting their hands on the ball, but they're not getting the ball. A chance to break the tie for Washington. Shooting two at the strike. Can't get the first to drop. 2.58 to go in this second overtime period. Oh, Nottingham gets the offensive rebound again. Rabo can't get the second chance opportunity to drop. Still tied. Corner feed. Evans gets it back. Sneed. Evans with just two points in this game. He's averaging double figures. Great effort from Dom Raymond oh. against Destin Evans tonight. Killick trying to get free. Sneed jab stepping. Out, Evans, a lined up three. No, off back iron. Red Hawks, second chance, and they'll shoot two now. Yep. Evans with a three, huh? That's a second attempt of the overtime period. Yeah. Just two points on the night for Evans. And Owusu will be the one shooting. And that is the fifth foul on Jameer Miller, so he's now out. Jameer Miller has fouled out of this contest. Two points on the night for Jameer. So Lusu will head to the line once action resumes. Teams lining up at the free throw line. Alexander comes into the game to replace Jameer Miller. I'm glad I'm not playing because I'm nervous. <laughs> Lusu can't get the first. Yeah. Second shot, no, Alexander the board, still tied. We've seen a combined 0 for 4 from the line in this second overtime. Giuliano, Alexander, Raba, Raymond, and Washington, the five for the ham. Owusu, Evans, Killick, 
Napoleon and Sneed, the five for the Pennington School. Under two minutes in the second overtime period. Still tied, still looking for the first points. Alexander penetrates, almost loses it, gets it back. Shoot, kick out, rob a three, no. Killick is fouled. Boy, the lid is on that basket for both teams. Raba hit the floor hard, helped up by his teammates. Killick. Killick also hit the ball, hit the floor hard. He will shoot two. He hit two free throws his last time in the first overtime period. The junior guard, captain of this team, shooting two. the first. He's smooth. And the second. Two point lead for the Red Hawks. 90 seconds remain. Alexander just across the P at midcourt. Washington with Killick on him. Wants to work it right side. Here's Raba. Raymond weaving. Has it stolen. Killick with the board. Double dribble the call. Oh, wow. Nottingham gets it back. Wow. Tough to see in that left corner as the Pennington student section has really flooded out onto the sideline here. Yeah, we're, we're kind of blinded. And we cannot see the far left corner of the gym. I know, and, and these kids will kill us if we tell them to move back now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see him try. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> Washington into the corner to Raba. Alexander, final minute, North Stars down by a bucket. Can take the lead with a three. That's a huge break for Nottingham. Killick coming up with that steal and then double dribbling. I, I, again, they, they've unforced turnovers sometimes. Raba gets inside, forces it up, and in! Jordan Raba! He's got 20. All tied up yet again. 30 seconds and change. Sneed handling the rock. Washington extends his pressure out on him. Nearing 20 seconds. Pennington wants the last shot. Timeout taken on the floor. A Pennington timeout, 18.7 to go. A chance to win it yet again. 45-45 the score will step aside here from the Pennington School. A trip to the Mercer County Tournament Finals on the other side of this timeout. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any make or model, Model. It's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good. Don't forget, if you missed any of today's action, you can read all about it in tomorrow's edition of the Trentonian. For your complete local and national news, seven days a week, it's the Trentonian or online at trentonian.com. The only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County, seven days a week, it's the Trentonian. 18.7 to go, Rich Fisher, Pennington with possession and a chance at the final shot if yeah. they take care of the Rock. I think Nottingham is gonna clamp down on Sneed and Killick again. Washington on Sneed, he'll bring it up. Killick in the corner, right near us. Alexander on him. Napoleon gets inside, pulls up. Too strong, second chance. Evans has it stripped. Giuliano comes up with it. Why not? How about a third overtime period for you? 
how about again? They just cannot grab the ball when they have to. He could have grabbed it and got a put back, but it didn't happen. 45-45 the score. Two overtime periods, not enough. May I have another? Yes, you may. Like we've done six other times. Well, not really, but <laughs> we're going to jump ball for the yeah. third time here tonight. Yep. The seventh quarter Fourth time. of basketball. <laughs> Start the game, two overtimes. And now the fourth time. There you go. Math was that. And actually, they, they jumped it up twice to start the overtime. So That's true. You were close. <laughs> yeah. <the> fifth time. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Four minutes put up on the clock. Actually, they got. Looks like it. It's going to be. It says 40, 40 seconds, but maybe a light is out. <laughs> I don't know. But it does show 40 seconds. Uh, and now they're redoing we'll get it, right. it. It's all good. We're good. You have a lot of confidence there, pal. Confidence there is key. Is. Attitude is everything. At center court, jumping ball, a new look for the North Stars. No Miller as Giuliano jumps ball. It's won by Nottingham. Scrappy play. I think Nottingham's won every jump ball. Here we go. Third overtime period. Alexander weaving with Raba. Raymond. We haven't seen a lot of scoring in the overtimes because there's been long possessions, mostly by Nottingham, but we've also seen missed shots. <laughs> Alexander has it poked away. Oh, he slid. Ooh. Almost past uh, the midcourt line. Yeah, Pennington but wanted I mean, a turnover. He, he slid on the ground. Yeah, they wanted to travel there. Tommy Carr gave some explanation to Chandler. Too high post look. Now Alexander pops out of it. Raba, flash screen. Raymond with Killick on him. A size mismatch. Just well away from the basket. Raba's three. Too strong. Raymond fighting. Hauled in by Napoleon. Sneed. We've only had one actual field goal in the first two First two uh, overtimes. Six, field, six foul shots and one field goal. Killick a healthy three. Sure! Well, they've been waiting for that. A huge trifecta. Washington to Giuliano. Alexander comes up with it. Washington now with it. Killick on Washington. Nearing the two minute mark. Third overtime. Washington driving, puts it up, left it short. Awusu with a board, he's fouled. Raba hit the hardwood, lost his footing and took out the legs of Awusu. The Bulldogs attending here in live action with Pennington and they're gonna make their way into the Pennington student section. John Michael Vlasic. Owen Tippett and company. Oh, okay. Mac Torpy as well. Oh, so we lost viewers. <laughs> First shot is in for Owusu.
Four points on the night. Make it five. Pennington by five. Well, that's got to feel good for Owusu. He missed two in that second overtime. Now Nottingham's got to go for it. There's a great pass by And Raymond. one for Jordan Raba. Raymond to Raba. R&R &R connect. A chance to make this a two-point game. Raba shooting one at the line. The foul against Killick. That's his third. Raba swishes the end one opportunity. It's a two-point game. 50-48 the score. 148 to go here in the third overtime. Raba pressuring. Giuliano and Raba double team Sneed. He needs help. Raba strips it. And I believe it's going to stay with Pennington. Yeah. Raba stepped out with the ball. I think Pennington better go on the attack here. I don't think there's any way that they're going to be able to milk this clock against this Nottingham defense. 96 seconds remain. Killick gets the inbounds pass. He's in that corner still. Works it out. This is Sneed. Killick for three. Yes! Oh. Silencer! How deep was that? Holy mackerel. He was way out. Giuliano, second chance. Washington gets it back. Alexander's three-pointer a little too wide. Raymond thought about three. Let's it fly. Left it short. Giuliano again turned it over. Raymond and Evans getting into it back down the floor. A two-hand shove from Raymond to push away Evans from him. And Giuliano had a two-hand shove of his own behind him that forced him out of bounds. Wessel stayed silent. This five-point lead equals Pennington's biggest lead of the game. Stewart, or Sneed, excuse me, driving, kicking. Pennington, okay, eating some clock. Up by five. Raba poked it out, but he fouled him first. Wow, Mike. Second largest lead of the night for Pennington. It's been five. It's remained there. And Owusu will shoot. Owusu. Sinks the first. The Italian People's Bakery Player of the Game interview following the conclusion of this one. Stick around post game. Two for two, Owusu. Raba corner. Alexander. Skip to Washington. Killick pokes it free. It'll stay with Nottingham as I believe Killick touched it and went out of bounds. Tell you what, I'll tell you what, I don't see anybody uh, guarding this sideline. I think this court is going to get <laughs> stormed if, if Pennington can hold on to this lead. Washington and Killick exchanging words at midcourt. They're jawing at it. Yeah, face well. to face. Here's Washington. Killick on him. Washington. Alexander, a three. Got it! It's a four-point game. Just what the North Stars needed to keep their hopes alive. 55-51. 30-point two remaining in a timeout taken. Well, the the best the lid was on, and now when you know when you're not trying to run clock, you're just trying to attack. Everybody seems to be making them all of a sudden. Five points for Dante Alexander. And a big time triple. 55-51. Under 50 seconds remain in this third overtime period. Largest lead for either team in this overtime. Five for the Red Hawks. They led by seven as many as one at one point in this quarter. And that's their largest lead of the night as well. Well, 
Pennington better have its foul shooting shoes on because they're going to be going to the line. If Nottingham doesn't get a quick steal or quick turnover, look for them to foul. Still a two-possession game. Man, this is pressure. something. <laughs> and this what is just the semifinal. Right. <laughs> Still a whole other round to go. Dylan Napoleon will inbound for the Red Hawks. 31 seconds remain. Third overtime period from the Pennington School. Killick gets free, and he's fouled by Raba. He'll go to the line. Kaye Killick. Killick has been a killer in this quarter, in this overtime, I should say. 24 points for Killick. Is that what you have? I have 22. What the look? Uh oh. Misses the first. No, no, I'm sorry. 24. You're right. Couldn't get the roll on the first. Second shot looming. Killick hits the second. Two possession game. Raba intended for in the corner. It's going to stay with the North Stars, 26.1. Awusu getting a hand on that pass. Washington to inbound. Gets it to Raba. Washington driving. Right hand is good. Washington wanted a foul call. He's not going to get it. Back to a five point game. 19.3 to go. Timeout taken on the floor. If Pennington can hold on for the final 19.3, they will earn a trip to the Mercer County Tournament Finals for the first time in over a decade. 14 years to be exact. Yep. The fans here can just about taste it. John Michael Vlasic coming up to us in the booth and asking if this is the third overtime. It is. It absolutely is. <laughs> I think it would only take three over. Well, actually, they're close in school, and maybe one overtime would give them enough time to get over here, but <laughs> three overtimes definitely gives them enough time to get over here to catch this one. Yeah, for sure. I bet you if you had a cop hidden on Delaware Avenue between Hopewell Valley and here, they could have pulled somebody over. <laughs> 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 I'm sure those guys weren't doing the speed limit getting down here. <laughs> Napoleon to inbound yet again for Pennington. Again, Nottingham will go for a quick steal, then, a, then, a, then probably foul. Although it's a one possession game, so. Another clock, clock malfunction. They may, they may take a little time before they foul. Now that it's just one possession. Three point game. Yeah. Wrong again. Yeah, it's a, it was a four, five point game a minute ago when they had 51. Right. It was Did the lay in make it 50? I thought the lay in made it 51. No, 53. Okay. Like I mentioned earlier, math, never my strong suit. Owusu shooting two yet again. Uh oh. Can't get the first. <laughs> this is huge. One possession game. 56-53, Awusu, second shot. Oh! Rattles home! Wow, that bounced around 75 times. Alexander spinning inside, elevates, left it short. Evans a rebound, foul against Raymond. Red Hawk student section can smell it. They'll get two, uh, we'll see. Evans to the line. 10.5 is a lot of time. First free throw attempts well, Chan for Destin Evans. Chandler Frazier Paul's over there carrying on with Kyle Franco, laughing it up. I, don't, I guess he feels pretty confident. Evans left the first one short. Second attempt for Destin Evans. In. 
The North Stars held the Red Hawks leading scorer to just three points tonight. That defensive effort looking like it might just come up a bit short, but what more can you ask for? Both of these teams leaving it all out on the hardwood here tonight. 58-53, the score, a five-point advantage for Pennington. Yeah, well, this is, uh, look, it was the three seed against the two seed. I mean, the MCT seeding committee can give him, pat himself on the back. This was, uh, this was every inch a two versus three game. Three overtimes, I mean, sweat and blood and everything out on that floor right now. And uh, I think it looks like the North Stars, unless barring a, a quite a miracle here. What do we got? Ten, how much time is left? It's, we got. I believe it's only about 13 seconds. I could be a bit off. I, I think it's less than that. Yeah. I think it's 10. 10 right. seconds uh, remain. Giuliano to inbound for Nottingham, trailing by five. five. Washington into the front court, gets inside, puts it up. A lot of contact, no whistle. And Foul called against Nottingham. That'll do it. And that's going to do it, just about. 2.1 remaining. Two shots at the line for Pennington. Who would you like me to send over, Michael, as if I didn't know? Kaye Killick, our Kielik. Italian People's Bakery player of the game. 25 points for Killick and a tournament finals clinching victory. A trip to the finals clinch, I should say. Boy, my score sheet's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Awusu. Knocks down a pair, and that'll do it. For the first time in 14 years, the Pennington Redhawks are heading back to the Mercer County Tournament Finals. 59-53, the final score. Pennington to the finals on Saturday afternoon from West Windsor, Plainsboro North. The Italian People's Bakery Player of the Game interview is next, coming up on WBCB. Hi, Merrill Reese for Capital Health, reminding you that the former St. Francis Medical Center is now Capital Health East, and they still offer a 24-7 emergency department as well as outpatient medical clinic services. To enter the emergency department and outpatient clinic, please use the Burt Avenue entrance. Capital Health, proud to be a partner for better health in our state's capital, Trenton, New Jersey. Falcon Heating and Cooling is proud to serve Hamilton Township and the surrounding communities. Their only priority is your comfort. Visit their showroom at 2615 Hamilton Avenue and see their water heaters, boilers, furnaces, and air conditioning units all on display. See what you're getting before delivery, and all brand names are there like Carrier, Lennox, Train, and more. Falcon Heating and Cooling does their own installation. No subcontractors, enabling better pricing and financing at low rates with up to seven years. Falcon Heating and Cooling, 2615 Hamilton Avenue. Call 609-638-4798. That's 609-638-4798. Welcome back to the Pennington School. As joining us now, our Italian People's Bakery player of the game, Kaye Killick, 25 points and reining it in from the land of great beyond tonight. Killick, an outstanding performance, and he's joining us now. Kaye, outstanding stuff from you tonight. You guys, you know, a lot not working to start inside. You tried to get it in to Destin Evans. It's clear the outside shots were working for you guys. You got it going in the first quarter. You scored all eight for Pennington. What was the message from Coach Pauls as you guys went over after that first quarter, trailing by a couple of scores? What was sort of the energy and the message that he had for you guys heading into the rest of the game? This whole season, uh, we've been a great um, responder. Uh, when it hasn't gone our way, uh, Coach Chandler always tells us to put our heads down and keep going. Um, and that's what we've stuck to. He pushes us hard in practice. So that first, second, and third quarter, it's really up to that fourth quarter, which it makes a difference. And here I think it got up to like eight. Uh, 
and he makes us run a lot. That's the biggest thing. He tells us to stay humble, and when things aren't going our way, stay together, and that's what we did tonight. You had a lot working for you in your game, the three-point shot primarily. You had it going early on, and then a couple of parking lot shots to seal the deal down the stretch. You guys had a great turnout from your student section tonight. How much energy did, they, did you feel that they gave you, especially down the stretch of that third overtime period? That's everything for us. Um, just for our team to be able to feed off that energy, uh, it's a great environment. This Pennington gym hasn't been like this in a long time, and especially during this MCT run, they've really shown out. We haven't been able to be at this point, and this is our first time making it to the final since 2010 um, when our coach was playing. So just to see them go crazy for us is very special. You mentioned it just right there. The first time in 14 years that the Pennington School will play in the Mercer County Tournament Finals. You as a junior on this team, what's that mean to you as one of the leaders and a captain as a junior? You hear the first time in 14 years that you get to represent the Pennington School in the Mercer County Tournament Finals. What does that mean to you? That means everything. Being able to show what this school could do and what Coach Chandler says little old Pennington um, can do in this county. We've been overlooked for a long time um, and we haven't been known as a basketball school since he graduated. So just to be able to really show schools what that Pennington jersey means on us, uh, it means the world just to, just to hopefully bring an MCT back here. So it's going to be a battle of Pennington for the Mercer County Tournament Championship. The Hopewell Valley Bulldogs victorious in their semifinal matchup. They actually made it here and were in the student section as the clock hit zeros for you guys to see the final action of this game. I'm assuming a lot of you guys know one another, a lot of familiar relationships. What do you think the energy is going to be like going into that game? It's going to be a great environment. Um, we usually uh, don't play them, so this is our first time playing them since uh, my freshman year. Uh, maybe three years ago. So they're a well-coached team. They have a good couple players, um, and we wish them the best of luck. Kai A. Killick, our Italian People's Bakery player of the game, a career-high 25 points for Kai A tonight. Kai A will take home a gift certificate to the Italian People's Bakery. Visit them at 63 Butler Street in Chambersburg. Get yourself a free sandwich, and go ahead and get in that locker room and celebrate with your teammates, my man. Congratulations. Thank you, Chris. Kai A. Killick, our Italian People's Bakery player of the game. 25 points, a career high, and a man of the people here tonight as the Red Hawks student section are waiting for him following that interview and really just tremendous stuff from Killick in this one. Great effort from both of these teams. Not much more you could really ask for from a quality of game, a championship level game tonight here in the semifinals, and it gets better as we still have one more round here in the Mercer County Tournament. Unfortunately, this is where our coverage ends for the tournament. We mentioned it earlier. We will not be able to cover the game at West Windsor Plainsboro North. So the North administration has set up their huddle camera and has uh, that hooked up to their stream. I believe it's on their YouTube page, but you have to check out their school sites to confirm that for sure. But if you're not able to attend, you can still video stream it. It just won't be through WBCB. It'll be the Pennington Redhawks and the Hopewell Valley Bulldogs both teams with a ton to play for, both not being able to bring home that finals title in over a decade. Exciting stuff, to say the least, as we head into Championship Saturday here in the Mercer County Tournament. I want to thank all of our sponsors who made tonight's broadcast possible. The Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, the Capital Health System, Revere Restaurant, Team Toyota, Saw Funeral Homes, Haldeman Ford Subaru, the New Jersey Education Association, Kessel Dermatology, the Mercer County Education Association, Italian People's Bakery, Hyundai of Trenton, the Hamilton Township Division of Health, the Trentonian, the Hamilton Township Education Association, all proud to bring you tonight's coverage here on WBCB. Kaye Clinic, our Italian People's Bakery player of the game with 25 points. One final time for the crew, for my broadcast partner, Rich Fisher, Gavin Ems, did our camera work tonight. A fantastic job by Gavin. Colin Somers produced tonight's stream. For my broadcast partner, Rich Fisher, my name is Mike Warren. We thank you so much for tuning in to WBCB Sports for the Mercer County Tournament this season. Until we talk to you again for the state playoffs here on WBCB, we thank you so much for making us a part of your evening. Have a great weekend, everybody.